Let me guess. It's number 21, Bostick 23, CP 221694. 96 days without indictment. Holy cow. This has a $1,181,000 good bond. Pre-trial. Shane Carter, only prior risk. All right, and I've got alleged seven pounds of marijuana, 7.4 pounds of THC edibles, 643 grams of mushrooms, 244 grams of THC. I don't know what that is, but 3,784 grams, uh, milligram, milliliters of promethazine, 34 grams of oxy, 2,560 grams of mushroom edibles. 213 grams of MDMA, 720 grams of THC oil. Go ahead, Miss Guest. I fall down the weirdest rabbit holes. So I can't really visualize how much this, this is. Like, she's talking about it, but I need to picture it. I need to know what we're talking about here. Like, grams mean nothing to me. Is that like a, a handful or is that like a dump truck full? So I went and looked it up, and way too many hours later, I have furthered my THC education. I know it's hard to believe for some of you, but there are some people in the world that literally know nothing about the green stuff. Some of us have bad reactions to it, so all I have is the research I've done for this channel, but that's been quite enlightening. So forgive me if some of this is common knowledge for all of you experts out there. This is for, you know, the novices of us. So the main unit of measurement that's used for the leafy stuff is pounds and ounces. Pounds is usually used when you're selling it, ounces when you're using it, unless you're Snoop d o -G, g Snoop Dogg. Although some people use grams. One gram is known as a dime, and it's about the size of a grape. Today I learned. But since this lady was in Snoop territory, we're going to work with ounces. One ounce is often called a zip because it fills almost completely a normal Ziploc bag. So this lady had seven pounds. There's 16 ounces in a pound. So imagine your countertop filled with PB&J sandwiches in little sandwich Ziploc bags. There would be 112 of them. And that's the seven pounds of actual flour that she was charged with. But then in addition to that, she had 7.41 pounds of edibles. So now we need another 118.56 bags. So now we're at 230 bags on your countertop. And that's only the actual MJ that she had. She also had liquid THC, she had MDMA, she had oxy, and promethazine, which is actually an antihistamine found in cough syrup. Oh, and she had mushroom edibles too. Yeah, and shrooms. So, you know, sweet girl got herself mixed up into some bad, bad. Yes, Your Honor. Um, As you stated, Mrs. Carter is... Uh, incarcerated on a million dollar good bond, um, which uh, might as well be a, a no bond status because she is indigent and unable to afford uh, that large of a contribution towards her uh, bond. She is 19 years old and from, is from the Valdosta area, but had just recently moved to Atlanta, um, the Atlanta area to attend school. She actually was accepted into Kennesaw State um, and was prepared to start um, classes um, in the upcoming semester prior to being arrested. At the time of being arrested, she actually, um, at 19 years old, held two jobs, um, one working for a Starbucks and also had recently started a job at Amazon. Um, she um, does believe that she can attend the, uh, go back to work. So she does have plans to, to uh, successfully contribute to society upon her release. Um, she she does have a, at the time she was living at this residence, uh, Your Honor, and this is not unfortunately her opportunity to go into the facts of the case. However, um, she does have a, a defense that she's looking forward to presenting to the court at a later date. Um, but this was definitely a, a case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. There were three other co-defendants in this in this home, but um, unfortunately, Mrs. Carter is the only one that is still in custody on these charges. She has provided me with another address where she can reside. Um, that address is um, in, a, in the Atlanta area, Your Honor. So if um, a reduction in her, in her, on her case is granted, we would ask that um, there be no stay away in Fulton County because that is where um, she plans to reside post-release. Um, Your Honor, we would be asking for um, a substantial reduction 
um, in Mrs. Carter's case. As you heard, she has no prior felony, no prior arrest, and she has every intention of it, it, attending all of her court hearings um, after you know any future court hearings, Your Honor. So we will be asking that um, the bond amount is reduced to a collective thirty five thousand um, dollars, which Mrs. Carter is is sure that she'll be able to 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 post and um, be released from custody to to actively participate in her her defense. All right, go ahead, Mr. White. Judge, this defendant is charged with. Um, Oh, sorry, I didn't even go over that. But I'm just losing my mind. It's getting towards the end of the year. Sorry. Possession, <laughs> manufacture, distribution, sale of marijuana, four counts of trafficking in illegal drugs, possession of controlled substance in Schedule 1 or 2 with intent to distribute, possession of a knife or a firearm during the commission of a felony, possession of Schedule Control 5 substance, and drug related objects. Yeah, there's of the four counts of trafficking, three are level three trafficking, one is level two trafficking. Um, she's looking at the uh, possibility of. What's that? Uh, 120 plus 20, 140 years in confinement just for the trafficking, um, and then add on top of it the uh, the firearms charges and the possession with intent. A um, million dollars in this case, although it's a lot of money, given the fact of of this is a uh, essentially a wholesale drug warehouse. Um, to call it a residence is using that term loosely at best. Um, you know, she was there in a wholesale drug warehouse, Judge. Um, a million dollars is not an unreasonable bond by any means. The state, uh, there's been no no indication of any change in circumstances or anything else. The state uh, thinks that this bond is very reasonable and would oppose any reduction at all. And she's already had a prelim, hasn't she? She has. All right. No drugs unless prescribed, no alcohol, no weapons, no further contact with your alleged co-defendants, Ashton Cook and Marvin Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. I wasn't able to find cases on her co-defendants, and I tried like every possible spelling that you can think of. But before Judge Manning alters her bond, I wanted to show you what her actual bond broke down to per charge. I thought that was kind of interesting. So Judge Manning's going to modify the bond per charge as well based on what she wants to do and i think the prosecutor asked for like thirty thousand in order for her to be able to afford to get out she's been in there since september on this charge early september you stay away from you have a 24-hour curfew court lawyer medical Employment, as long as you spell the name of your employer, proof of employment schedule, and the exact location you'll be working. I think that is it. And you say she's going to live in the Atlanta area instead of Valdosta? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Forty thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, eighty thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand, and UJR through the jail. Forty thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, eighty thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand, and UJR jail. Best of luck to you, ma'am. Your Honor, that concludes my business with the court. May I be excused? Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. Well, that was a bond reduction from one million one hundred eighty-one thousand dollars to 945,000. I don't think she's going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm.